Hi and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. I hope you're enjoying watching the videos. If there's anything you want to see in particular, drop me a drop me a comment and let me know. We're trying to work through some of my lists that I've created through the winter. Um, I've had a few little breakdowns recently. You saw that last week with the uh, with the tensioner and the uh, alternator and the auxiliary belt. All them. Um, getting damaged and failing and all the rest of it that was a bit of a donkey of a job we managed to get it done but it wasn't easy and especially when you've never done that kind of work before you learn as you go along and i'm doing the same i'm learning as i go along so i have a long list of little jobs that i want done on the van and i've not got around to doing so today i'm going to chip another one of them jobs off the list so like everybody else i have a night hater fitted in my van and I'm quite a light sleeper, so the constant tick, 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 tick of the pump winds me up. I want to know if these things are worth the money. This is meant to be a silent pump. So we're going to change that out today and we're going to find out if it's any good. It has a built-in filter in there, which is... Uh, I don't know if it's a good point or a bad point. We have a separate filter, so if it ever got clogged, we could whip it out and change it out. But maybe having that there will cut down on some of the noise and it's not having to pull as hard. But we'll see. We're going to fit this. This was about 35 quid. Can't remember off the top of my head. I bought it a while ago. We just haven't had the light nights and we haven't had the weather on our side. So let's get stuck in. So it's very rare we use a night heater and I've got a little switch here that turns the panel on and the panel is located there. So let's, let's turn the temperature up and fire it up so you can hear what the exact problem is. So there we go, it's initiating Right, so we're up and running, and you can hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear the ticking. And the problem for me is, when I'm parked up and we're doing stuff, it isn't a problem. It's when I'm lying in the dead of the night, and all I can hear is the pump. The fan, I can get used to, because... Once it's up to speed, it dies down, but it is the ticking. In fact, we'll turn that off now. Yeah. So it'll spin up and it'll start cooling off. And there you have it, that's my setup. Um, that's the inline filter, it's currently on the pump. Um, could do with being angled a little bit further to be honest but that doesn't look to be holding up too well we'll have a little look at all these little bits um, now it looks like I'm going to have to replace that pipe it's not going to be long enough um, let's see, let's see what we've got yeah, so I need a bit of pipe a bit of fuel, new bit of fuel pipe from here to here I think we'll be okay with this. Um, or do I just put it on that side? Swap it over, put that pipe straight on to the bottom of the pump. Oh, decisions, decisions. So we shall have a little look at all this, and work out the best solution. Just seeing if there's any slack on the line to get it to where we need it to be but I don't think it is so I think we're going to have to split it there first thing first I'm going to check if I've got any fuel line right we've swapped out the old one and that's a new one in there I'm going to go and order some a new bracket to be honest and some new clips better quality clips to be honest and while I'm there I'm going to get some new pipe so all that equipment has been in there a couple of years now and I didn't really consider how bad it would have corroded. So I'm going to get some new pipe, I'm also going to get some new Jubilee clips and 
what else is there? A bit of fuel line. <laughs> a new bit of fuel line and a new bracket. Because uh, that hasn't weathered well, has it? Hasn't weathered well at all. Now we need to prime everything up. We need to run it through the sequence and I'll show you how to do that. Priming your pump is quite simple. It is one of the simplest commands to do on this system ever. Let me show you. Let's put some light on. So, does that work? No, does that work? No. It's a dead easy. There is two buttons. This one here, okay. And this one here. Press them both together. Then you've got hitch off. And then all we do is press that. And see the little pump? Symbol. That ain't a silent pump. Can you hear that? That isn't a silent pump. Maybe when it's full, it might be quiet. But that isn't a silent pump. Can you hear that? I've put the mic down near the floor so you can hear what I can hear. And I'm hoping that goes away. Oh, it's getting quieter. It is getting quieter. Trying to put the mic. Yeah, it is. It is. It's getting quieter. Can you hear that? So I've got the mic down there. Stand corrected. It maybe is quiet there. So the pump symbol has gone off. So we turn it off. And then let's try it again. We'll leave it to do its thing. Once it pressurises it should should turn off. Right, I just wanted to show you this. So this is this is the line after pump. So we can see there there is fuel in it. Um, there was a couple of little bubbles moving along um, when we first popped our head under. That's now settled down so I think we're in a good position. We can fire it up and, and see how this new pump behaves. See if it is any quieter. To get out primer mode on the controller it is dead simple again. Press the OK button. Now we're out. So, we want to try the pump, the pump back on, we'll set it at 19 degrees, so let's see how this behaves. Can you hear that noise? Definitely quiet. Pump symbols just come on. So it is pumping. Uh, you still hear it? It's doing the slow. It is quieter though. I will give him that. It is quieter. <coughs> Can I live with that? It's better than the last one. <laughs> am I just being... Am I being a little bit finicky? We're getting a bit of smoke, so... A little bit of smoke coming out. 
see it in the mirror. There you go. I think it's just priming itself up, so that stinks, so I'm shutting the door. Yeah, it's, it's getting up to speed. Remember we did prime, we did pump a lot of diesel in there. We, uh, we maybe filled the chamber full of diesel and that's all that is. So what we'll do is, we'll let this get up to speed, which it's doing now quite well. Oh, it stinks. Yeah, we've put a lot of diesel. <laughs> put a lot of diesel in it. We've filled the chamber up with diesel and it's stinking. Look, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> I don't know if you can say that. We're sending smoke signals. I think that's what we've done. We've definitely, um, we primed it twice. Maybe it cut off the first time because it was full. Filling the garage up and then it's gonna smell sweet in there. It's really windy today, so smoke is going everywhere. <laughs> oh dear. There's a little whiff of it in here, but I think that's because I had the door open as well. So um, yeah. Maybe don't prime it twice before you fire it up. <laughs> what are we up to? Let's have a little so yeah, we're at full speed. Um yeah, it seems to have cleared. <laughs> yeah, look, look, look. No, I'm smoking. Little, little bits, yeah, little bits of smoke. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won't do that again. Yeah, we we'll definitely won't do that again. But hey, I'm only doing this for once. No, I'm not. I'm going to change all the pipe work out. So, yeah, we'll have this all to do again. So when I'm priming it up the next time, it'll be just one cycle and then we'll go from there. It's, it is really quiet. Really quiet. <laughs> the test is gonna be at night time, isn't it? It's, it's obviously, that's when it's the quietest. That's where I'm conscious of the pump. And uh, I've moved things around down there and maybe Maybe the air intake touching it was making it vibrate against the uh, against the chassis and the bodywork. But there we are. I'm going to turn this right up because we filled the chamber with too much fuel. I think what we need to do is give it a good burn, get it right up. So we're up to 32, 33, 34, 35. I think the cutoff is 35 yet. Yeah. We're at 35, so let's see how that does. We'll come back in a little while. I'm going to leave it running. Um, I've got another little job I want to do in the van, so anyway, I think that's a success. The pump is pumping. Let me show you. The pump is pumping, and I can't hear anything. I can't hear a thing. Let's go outside and we'll have a listen underneath the van. Well, I am impressed. <laughs> I do like that. Uh, I think it's definitely an improvement. Let me just put this torch down. Definitely an improvement. It is quieter. Um, the smoke has gone. Look, see? No smoky. <laughs> yeah, I think we just overloaded the chamber with, with diesel. And uh, that's that. So there's the old ones. I'll uh, skip them. Just stuck on there so I didn't lose them. <coughs> there you go. It's running in the background. We're going to leave that for a couple hours now. I'm going to do some work in the back of the van. A little modification that I've been wanting to do for a while. So I'm happy with it. It is, it is quite air. I'll give it that. The proof is going to be when I'm asleep, when I'm trying to get to sleep, and that is running. For now, I can't hear any thumping from the pump, I can't hear any clicking, 
So I think it's a winner. Anyway, I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. If you've done anything like this with your Chinese heater, any modifications, any changes, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm always interested to find out what other people are doing and trying things out, new things out, if uh, if there is improvements out there. Oh, let's feel the heat. Oh, that is toasty. Toasty, toasty, toasty. Right, let's get that door shut. Don't know if you can see that. And I don't know if anybody else is dizzy. But when my Chinese heater is on, my lights flicker. Tiniest of flicker. I am gonna have to do something about this. It is just a little flicker every now and then. Well, it's while the pump's pumping. So I think we need to put a suppressor on the supply cable to the pump and uh, that should deal with that issue. Right, while I'm in here, I've got a couple of little chores to do. <laughs> I'm gonna show you one. Swap out the batteries, I took them out, I've left them in the house. Um, the new ones need to go in, I change them every 12 months because at the end of the day, for a couple of quid, you need to keep on top of your smoke alarms. That is a CO2 alarm as well, so it's a, it's a two in one. As Riley gets older, his toys get bigger and we currently struggle to fit his bike under the bed. So we're going to raise the bed, maybe make it into a raising bed. I'm going to have a look at that and see what I can do. I've got five days to do it. It's Saturday now. We're going away on Thursday next week. So that gives me Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I've got five days to do it. Um, we'll have a good look at it tomorrow and see what we come up with. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Why not head over and check out our new website, www.thecraftyblinders.co.uk. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok and our Facebook group, The Crafty Blinder Van Builds. Thanks for watching.